<sighs> Stephen A. Smith, I'm afraid there is. As you well know from working with me for many years, I'm a big Tom Brady fan. I'm a Patriot supporter. I know there's a whole lot of Patriot hate out there, but you don't get it from me. <sighs> I'm afraid Tom Brady is guilty here, and I'm afraid he is going to have to be suspended for the good of, the integrity of, the game that we all love, the National Football League's game. I think Bill Belichick is going to have to be suspended. I'm going to call for Brady to be gone for four games and Belichick for eight games because he oversaw this process, whether he admits to it or not. Now, back to the Wells report. Stephen A. Smith, I read every word of it last night. I, I read the tables. I read the graphs. I read the appendices. If that's the right word. Yeah, that is correct. I, I read it to the bottom. I, I lost track how many, 100 and it some was, odd pages. It was a lot. <laughs> 139. One thir thank you very much. I read and I read and I read trying to shoot holes in it, trying to dismiss it as a bunch of reckless reaches, as we just heard from Tom Brady's agent. I don't want to hear about a sting operation. I don't want to hear from Tom Brady's father about frame gate. I realize the evidence is mostly circumstantial, but it's convincingly circumstantial. And I realize there's no smoking gun, there's no picture of, although there's video of this ref's locker room attendant taking the balls into the bathroom for about a hundred seconds before that game in question. I realize there's no direct testimony incriminating Tom Brady, but all those text messages back and forth between this equipment assistant that was very close with Tom Brady, or is very close with him, John Jastrzemski, and this ref's locker room attendant, Jim McNally. When I read all the text messages, the back and forth, when I read about the flurry of text messages between Tom Brady and Jastrzemski the day after the game in question, after all this broke, the phone calls between them that were fairly lengthy and then for the first time in the 20 years that Jastrzemski worked for the Patriots being invited that next day, that following day, into the quarterback room for the first time in his history with the, the Patriots. It, it adds up to Tom Brady cheated and, and it's hard for me to even get that word out of my mouth Stephen A because the prospect of Tom Brady deliberately and routinely cheating even though I don't consider this major cheating, but it is cheating nonetheless. He did break a rule that I'm sure he was aware of, even though he told the investigators that even though he participated in getting the rule changed in 2006, where the road teams could, could handle their own, prepare their own footballs, he claimed that he did not know about the minimum PSI level until 24, till last season. That's a bunch of baloney. I'm sorry, I don't, I don't buy it. And then, further evidence Tom Brady would not let the investigators go through his phone I know he's a big superstar with a big superstar right. model wife I get that but it would seem like if you were innocent as charged you would just open book it you would say sure go ahead and they said they would they would certainly keep it under lock and key and they would only sift through looking for any text relating to this matter then the Patriots wouldn't allow this McNally a second interview after it became known to the investigators that he is he, he had a nickname he called himself the deflator and in the end I look back at that interview that Tom Brady gave the week before Super Bowl week in which he was so thoroughly overwhelmingly unconvincing and so awkward and so just on his heels through the whole interview so sheepish almost. Stephen A, I thought he was covering for Belichick there, and maybe he was, but he was also covering for himself. So I'm going to call for Tom Brady to be gone for four games. Maybe the NFLPA could get that reduced to a couple of games. But again, per what happened to Sean Payton through the whole bounty gate, that he was held responsible. I think Bill Belichick should be gone for half the season, eight games, in part because of his track record with Spygate, for which he was solely responsible, and all the other accusations that have been leveled against Bill Belichick. So just given his track record, 
I'm going to go eight games for him, four for Tom Brady. The fine can be whatever. I don't know if Mr. Kraft needs to be fined here. But I do think a draft choice needs to be taken from the Patriots. I'll make it a fourth-round pick, just a fourth-round pick in next year's draft. That would suffice to me. But my bottom line is Tom Brady's four-ring legacy has been tainted. I don't care if he gets suspended or not. Just, just th This is damning evidence here. It's enough. Circumstantial but damning. His reputation has been tainted long term to the point that knowing some of the hardcore Hall of Fame voters the way I have over the years, Stephen A., I'm not sure Tom Brady's going to be a first ballot Hall of Famer. He might also get punished long term to be held out the first round of voting from the Hall of Fame. It's a very sad day for me. But I can't run from the facts. They are screaming to me, circumstantially as, as they might be, that Tom Brady is guilty. I respect your opinion. I know that was hard for you, how much you love your boy Tom Brady. I do. Um, you know, and this is nothing to be overjoyed about, I can tell you that much, considering his level of greatness. Uh, what he's put on display for us for the better part of the last, you know, for more than a decade now, four Super Bowl titles, his performance in the Super Bowls, his performance in one clutch situation after another. It's pretty sad that we have to sit here and have this discussion. None of us take any joy um, in having to say what we have to say, but it is what it is. Tom Brady does deserve to be suspended. Skip, I completely agree with you. I would definitely suspend him for the four games. I think this thing was incredibly incriminating. Uh, particularly the text messages uh, back and forth between Jazz Strzemski and McNally when they were basically using the, you know, dropping F-bombs and talking about what a pain in the neck Tom Brady was because he was so meticulous about the balls. Mm. Uh, when you consider that, uh, it falls in line with what I had been saying for months now and that being the quarterback, you know, behind center, having the ball snapped to you, handing it off to running backs, throwing it to tight ends and wide receivers and running backs for that matter, uh, having the ball in your hands more than anybody else on the field. It is absolutely positively impossible that he had nothing to do with it because a legitimate argument beyond a legitimate argument could be made that all of this effort, sh as strenuous as it may have been, was exercised specifically because of Tom Brady. You know, to, to, to look out for him, to do what he wanted done. And then when you consider the fact that you go practically years or, or months rather with, without talking to the equipment managers and what have you, to really not uh, communicating with them but so much, and then all of a sudden they're in the quarterback room, they're in the quarterback meeting, and, you know, all of a sudden you're exchanging phone calls with them. Really? I mean, there's just no question that the evidence is incredibly, incredibly incriminating towards Tom Brady. There's no way around it. He deserves a four game suspension. The New England Patriots deserve to have at least a second round pick confiscated from them. I don't go fourth round skip. I'll go as high as the second and it wouldn't bother me if they had a first round pick confiscated because we're talking about the integrity of the game. We're talking about people who are going to look at Tom Brady and say he cheated. Well, Skip Bayless, if it's so significant where you think his status as a future first ballot Hall of Famer is in jeopardy. If it's so significant that the four Super Bowls are arguably tainted, how is it not significant enough to confiscate a first round pick when Tom Brady was your quarterback all along? I mean, basically, based on the evidence itself, and then you have to take into consideration uh, Troy Vincent here, uh, the NFL executive, you know, the NFL VP. Mm. We have to take that into consideration. It's not Roger Goodell from what I'm being told. It's not Roger Goodell that's going to make this decision. This is Troy Vincent, and it's not just smoke and mirrors. Troy Vincent is a former player. So Troy Vincent, a man that I covered in Philadelphia, tremendous integrity, okay? This is a guy that's going to hand down rulings. And he can't just look at Tom Brady and the greatness of Tom Brady. He has to take into account all 32 teams, the players that played against Tom Brady, people who legitimately have been on the record saying they felt robbed because they believe that the New England Patriots engaged in, 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 you know, in cheating activity. He has to take all of that into consideration. I don't see how it can be any less than four games for Tom Brady, in my estimation. But here's where I part ways with you. I don't believe Bill Belichick deserves a game. Oh, please. Nothing. Nothing.
Here's why. Regardless of what you believe, Skip, the report specifically said there was no evidence found whatsoever incriminating Bill Belichick completely. Ted Wells didn't use the word pro. He had wiggle room because if you talk about Tom Brady and probable, you could have said Bill Belichick questionable. You could have said Bill Belichick probable. You could have said Bill Belichick definitively. You used none of those words. This, you specifically said you haven't found anything to incriminate this man. I'm looking at here and it says exactly this. The report finds no wrongdoing or knowledge of wrongdoing by Patriots ownership, by head coach Bill Belichick, or any other Patriots coach in the matters investigated. I'm sorry. It, it doesn't matter what you believe. It doesn't matter what most of America could possibly surmise. The facts are an investigation took place and the same investigation that you're willing to give weight to, to incriminate Tom Brady has completely exonerated Bill Belichick. Mm. Now we can believe whatever, but the report that everybody is going on that's calling for Tom Brady to be suspended, that's calling for his reputation to be sullied and his integrity to be completely compromised. That same report completely exonerates the head coach. It doesn't matter what you believe. What matters is the report said zero evidence of wrongdoing on a part of Mr. Kraft, yeah. on a part of Bill Belichick, or any of the coaches. This is on Tom Brady, your guy, period. I consider Bill Belichick my guy too, and he has to go okay. down here. You remember what, what happened to Sean Payton in Bounty Gate? I had no knowledge, and they said that's no excuse. You're the head coach of the New Orleans Saints. That's not what happened. Yeah, it was. Tom Brady, no, Sean Payton got suspended because Sean Payton lied to Roger Goodell's face. Mm -hmm. That's why he got suspended. Okay, it but, wasn't because it wasn't yeah, because he but, was just culpable. Said that's he no lied excuse. to the face. If you're the head coach, you have to know. You have to stand responsible for what's operating under your nose. No coach, no coach in the National Football League rules his football operation with more of an iron fist than Bill Belichick does. I, I suggest to you no coach ha has has more awareness of the minute details in the operation than Belichick. He's his own offensive coordinator and defensive coordinator and special teams coach. I'm sorry. He yeah. has to know that the, the very essence, that there were all the reports that came out before the Super Bowl. Remember about how Bill brings out footballs before uh, bad weather games and he wets them down or he ices them up or whatever he has to do. He's acutely aware of the condition of the football, especially the one that his star quarterback is going to throw. Yeah, you don't think he had discussions with Tom Brady? How would you like it? Skip. And how could we fix it for you? Stop it. Skip, with all due respect, with all due respect, I'm not debating whether you're right or wrong. I don't know. You may very well be right, but your complete argument against Bill Belichick is entirely emotional because the report says I, we found no out. evidence. We found no evidence. Now, either you're going to go with the report or you're not. You well, can't go with the report for Tom Brady, but ignore it with Bill Belichick. Or you can't go with the report with Tom Brady and then ignore the report and surmise that, okay. you know what, I'm going to connect the dots. The fact is, the fact is, the report says Bill Belichick, zero evidence of wrongdoing, period. Okay. The only damning evidence we have against Tom Brady are the text messages. And they're from lackey to lackey. This is assistant equipment guy to this assistant guy in the, the referee's quarters. And th they're not going to be texting about Belichick. They're going to be texting about Tom Brady.